everybody, it is Barb with Barb and Designs. And if you've been watching with me for a while, you may notice a new haircut. I chopped a lot off today. I haven't had my hair this short in forever, but it was kind of fun to do. And I have some new transfers. So new haircut, new transfers, you just need to join me. I got some happy mail today and I want to share it with you. And then we're going to do some more with the gallery wall back there. So when you come on, say hello. So you want to see some of the new transfers? There are some really amazing ones. Okay, I'm going to show you this one first. Be fabulous. Isn't that peacock gorgeous? And I can just see it in some of the beautiful blues and greens. Can't wait to do that one. So there is one. I'm gonna toss them under my table as I show them to you. Hello, Elaine. Thank you. It feels good, it feels healthy. Okay, here's another new transfer from the new release. Always take the scenic route. This is a fun transfer. This is a big one. You could do a lot of really fun things for, with that. These are in no particular order, just as I pulled them up. Love this homespun flag. And I'm just thinking how cute this would be. Now, it's, it's just this size. This layer's on top. And I'm thinking how cute would this be on one of the lumbar pillows? for the 4th of July. Thank you, Lucy. Glad you're here. Paris, isn't that beautiful with the Eiffel Tower and the stamp? I love this one. I can think of all sorts of fun things for this transfer. Um, let's see, You, I love this one. This is a, such a nice saying. I think I wanna do this and put it in my bedroom. Um, you are my sun, my moon, and all of my stars. Isn't that beautiful? I love the font. Very simple and uh, just beautiful. Love that one. Uh, let's see. <laughs> this is a good one. We may not have it all together, but together we have it all. That's a pretty good transfer, huh? I could see this one done in a lot of different colors and uh, just super fun. Let's see, oh, this one's nice. Farmhouse kitchen, made with love, fresh daily. And you know, you don't have to use the farmhouse. You could just use the word kitchen if you don't have a farmhouse kitchen. But uh, this is super fun. I, I think this would go so well with like the barn and the tractor and the whole farmhouse theme. You could do a nice vignette of a lot of designs with that. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Donna. Hi, Melissa. Yes. Okay. I like this one a lot, too. This is us, is what the top says. And it's so good to be home. I like both of those. Super nice. Those would fit great. And I'm going to pull it off. Oh, it's just done with Velcro. These would fit perfectly perfectly in one of the small uh, boards like this. Love that. Let's stick that back up there. All right, what else do I have? This is a good saying, worry less, love more. That'd be a good reminder to have on the bathroom mirror or something every day. Did you know that you can chalk couture the mirror? I, I just might have to do that. Um, oh, I just love the scripture um, transfers. And we have several in the past. This is a beautiful one, Romans 12, 12. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Such a beautiful scripture and such a beautiful font. I know I'm gonna be doing this one soon. Um, here's a couple for Mother's Day and Father's Day. You have the mom, you can say mom boss, mom squad. It's got the hashtag mom life. Could do so many fun things with that. 
And then dad can't be left out, so we have, I'm the dad, that's why. <laughs> Hashtag dad life. Hip dad, dad bod. That'd be so fun on a, on a t-shirt. Okay, this is super cute. This transfer, bonjour, hola, ciao. <laughs> super cute. All right, now all the little mini ones. You can make coasters, um, just so many fun things. And this is the summer version, the summer one. You've got a beautiful tropical flower, a uh, suitcase that says Wanderlust, uh, the little scooter, love the little scooter, um, sailboat, beach day, super fun. These are great, like I said, on coasters. They're great for ball caps. Um, just lots of little things that you can think of. And you could use them in a combination um, together or with um, other larger ones. Okay, this is probably one of the most popular new transfers. I'm going to be doing it soon because it's just so fun. You can't quite get the full effect when it's apart. But if you go to chalkcouture.com slash barband designs and look for the surf club, you're going to see a way fun vintage old um, van, kind of like the Volkswagen one, you know, the, um, the beachy van. And you've got surf club, you've got some palm trees. And again, I love how versatile the transfers are because these palm trees with one of those sayings down there on the little things would be super fun. Okay, this is one of my favorite new transfers. There's, um, and I, I think I'm missing one, but these go in the story collections where you have a collection of transfers that go together so you can mix and match and really have a coordinated theme. And this is the, um, the flowers. And so on this one, you have all these different flowers you can do. You have a bouquet, a ribbon, um, some of the stems, just beautiful, beautiful. And then you have these great words, bouquet and vase, hand tied, market fresh flowers, seeds, stems, and blooms. So just super beautiful, beautiful. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Paula. So glad you guys are here. So those are um, a peek at some of the new transfers that have just come out. You can find all of those at chalkcouture.com slash designs. And um, tonight, though, we're going to do one of the stories from the spring um, catalog. Ooh, I've got something all over that. Luckily, it just wipes off. We're going to do something on my gallery board with the, the bumblebee stuff. So you've got the hive with the little bees and the little swirls. Then you've got this sweeter than honey, honeybee farms with some more little bees. Cute little home is where the honey is. And um, you could do such a fun, uh, the stories collection is so great for doing, I mean, you could really coordinate a whole corner of a room or a whole room for that matter by doing different um, things. You could do something on a pillow. You could do a couple of different wall um, decor things, and they're all going to coordinate perfectly. You don't have to be guessing, is this going to work? Is that going to work? Because it all goes together. Well, what we're going to do, let me show you my, okay, we're going to do that one way over there. All right, so I'm going to pull this down off the wall. Again, I've got it up there with the Velcro. And we're going to do this. Okay, so I'm going to get it positioned where I want it. Now, I have to turn it the right way or I'll be in big trouble. Let's see if I can maybe shift things a little bit here. All right. Okay, 
Now we're going to do some fun things with this tonight. So my whole um, gallery wall is to be spring themed. And you might be saying, well, that looks kind of big. It will fit on here, but I'm going to do something a little unique. Now, if you, oh, the volume's not loud enough. Hmm, thank you for telling me. Let me see if I can do anything about that. Um, that's a good question of how. I know I had issues with this last night, and I cut it off early, too. Okay, tell me if this makes any difference uh, with volume. And um, wouldn't they be cute in a nursery? I think that would be adorable, too, Don. I just, oh, that's a great idea. And, you know, you can do things... Um, you can make quilts. I've seen some beautiful quilts and things made with chalk couture. You use the ink and uh, heat set it and use your different squares and you could make a beautiful uh, quilt to go on the baby's crib and then have the beautiful nursery um, decor BBs. So um, somebody let me know if that helped with the volume. If you can just uh, give me a clue, and I will hold on here for a second. I'm going to move some of these out of the way before I slip on them. And uh, we're going to do some fun stuff. So, let me know what you think of the volume. If that helped any, um, I may have to just talk really loud. And I want you to know, too, as soon as I am done here on my page going live, I'm not seeing any comments. Let's see. Somebody tell me something. I lost my comments. I just want to see. The last comment I see is Dawn's about the nursery. And I know there is a delay but I would be thinking somebody comment for me. So if you're on and could tell me, I don't have my laptop down here tonight, so I'm only seeing what's on my control panel over here. And I'm just not seeing any comments. And my luck, things are, oh, there we go. Um, good, thank you, Paula. Got it chopped off today. I haven't had it this short in forever. Okay, well I'll continue to talk a little bit loud and hopefully, I need to at some point invest in, um, or just use my, I've always wanted to try using my ear, uh, ear pod things. Okay, so what we're going to do, first of all, is I need to fuzz this up because this has not been used. It's a brand new transfer. Grab some things sitting over here. So I'm gonna move my board out of the way a little bit and I'm going to use my fuzzing cloth and I'm gonna use it the uh, fuzzy side up. One side is fuzzy and it's the rougher side and the other side is like a microfiber towel that you can use to wipe things. Hi, Sue. Thanks. I'm so glad you guys are all here tonight. What'd you think of, um, did anybody see last night's live? I was really happy with how that one turned out. I'll give you a peek in a minute with that. And um, I also want to let you know that as soon as I'm done on this video, I'm going to go live on my VIP page. And I've decided I'm going to um, have a little sale. So you might want to stay tuned. Could be fun. It's not going to be huge. Well, it might be. It's all dependent on what you consider huge. But I got some of this new inventory in, and I realized I need to move some inventory. So I'm going to have a little bit of a sale, but I can only do that in a private group. So if you aren't a member of Barman Designs VIP group, go request to join, and I'll try and check those before... I go live in there and I'm sticking to everything look at this see how sticky these are I'm sticking right to the table 
So again, this is a good reason to fuzz. It helps um, when you're not quite as sticky with them um, stretching. And when you do certain designs on certain, oh, like if you did something on metal, oh man, metal or glass, it really wants to stick to. And so it's really good to give it a, a fuzz the first time you've used it. And if you're doing any layering, and uh, it's a really good idea. Okay, I think that's good enough. I'm gonna stick this down here on the edge of my table. Move this, see if you can see it pretty good. And I'm gonna do something a little unique. Now this would actually fit, but I think instead of just having it centered, I was thinking it might be fun to having it a little going off the page. But now that I see that, I don't know if I want to do that or not. That's the fun thing with the transfers too, is that you can, you can kind of see what it's going to look like. And I thought it would be really fun to do an off, off the um, design. But now that I'm seeing it, I'm actually kind of liking it centered. So going, going back on what I said. And then, sweeter than honey, honeybee farms. What do I want to put below it? I think I like the honeybee farms. And that's not going to take up a whole lot of room. You can kind of see. So I'm going to maybe bring it down a smidge. Or should I have it centered? All these decisions are literally the hardest part, right? Okay, I think I'm not going to have it perfectly centered, but not too far down. Okay, so I've got it where I want it, and now I'm going to start from the center and smooth outward. That way I don't get any air bubbles. You can always lift it up if you need to. And I'm going to use mocha. Let me get my stir sticks, my multi-tool. Give this chalk paste a good stir. If you aren't familiar with what we're doing, if this is one of the first times you've watched my videos, this is chalk couture in all of its glory. It is the coolest stuff ever. I've been crafting forever and ever. And I couldn't, I couldn't think of anything that I've enjoyed more than this. It's so versatile, and each project is new and fun. I just love it. But it combines silkscreen transfers with adhesive-backed, or silkscreen adhesive-backed transfers with chalk paste. It's not chalk paint, but chalk paste that is a... Um, water-soluble products. So like I'm doing this whole wall in springtime projects, but I'm gonna be able to switch it later and just by wiping it off with water, it's, it's like magic. And so I'm putting the chalk paste on and then just scraping it down. It's so easy to do that literally um, my five-year-old granddaughter loves to chalk couture. She made me so happy when she surprised me here this weekend. And we were down in the basement. I was showing people my studio that hadn't seen it. My family came over to my house, and some of them hadn't seen our house before. So I was showing off my studio, and she saw all the stuff. And she said, Grammy, we haven't chalk coutured. <laughs> so I let her make a couple of little eggs because... It was, she loves to chalk couture. Okay, so I have scraped this down, and now I'm gonna pull it off. Sometimes you need, I'm gonna pull my sleeves up here because I'm gonna use my elbows to hold the board down to get started. And there we go. 
Okay, now I can just put this in a tub of water, but I found out last night that when I did that with a large transfer, I don't have a big tub really. So it was actually a little bit of problem. It's already actually even sticking to itself. So I'm gonna clean this right here by laying a couple of microfiber towels down that are wet. And I'm gonna lay this down on here. See, I've already got it stuck over in this little corner. It's so sticky. Okay, and now, get my little spray of water and we're just gonna wipe it off. I'm gonna just spray that, wipe that chalk paste off. I'm gonna move it over to do that because it's not actually on the cloth and if I push that down, it's going to stick to the table. So now I can take a bacterial wipe, clean that. Pull this back a little. Ideally, I just put this in my kitchen sink or in my studio sink. Look how it leaves the imprint. That's kind of fun. get this cleaned off and then we could be split and what's so great is then this can be reused over and over and over just love that got a little hair on there I wish I would have asked her how many inches she cut off of my hair today I know it was quite a few she said, she held my hair to the back of my neck and she said, how are you feeling about that? Is that scary? And I said, no, it's exciting. It was kind of fun. All right, so I've stuck that there. Now, get my lid on my chalk paste so it won't dry out so quickly. And now we'll get our words that we're going to use. This is going to be a really fast project. And like I said, as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to go over to my VIP page and have a sale. So you want to check that out just as soon as we're done here. If you aren't a member of my VIP group, my crafting club, then you're going to want to go join me. Now, this is going to overlap just a wee bit, and so I want to make sure this is good and dry, because if it's not, then the adhesive is going to pull up on that chalk. And this is also where fuzzing is really helpful, because when you have a transfer that's brand new and you put it down on a surface, it's already been chalked. If you don't fuzz it, it can pull it quite, quite easily. So I'm just going to lay it down, pull it up. Lay it down, pull it up. I used to do this on my clothes all the time. I'd just stick it up on my clothes and use my clothes. Now we have this beautiful fuzzing cloth. Just seems like that's what to do. All right. So we've got that fuzzed up now. I'm going to just line that up. I don't think I'm going to do this top little design. I may actually do it underneath. And I'm going to do this in white. So I'll just put a little white. on one of my small squeegees and just drag that chalk paste across. I mean, when have you ever seen that you could make beautiful, high-end home decor 
so easily and so beautifully. Yeah, I like that. Okay, now this one's small enough. I'm just going to stick it in my water back here. I have a tub of water there. All right, now I think we need to use some of these little bees and their little strings. Uh, or their little, you know, they're flying. <laughs> so I'm going to use several different ones, different sizes. Got three sizes here. And seriously, do you know that you could even do something like a little, somebody who was totally loved bees. I could see a pendant that was big enough for this beehive and then a little bee on top of it. And that would be adorable. Super fun. You can literally chalk on anything. In fact, I know I saw one time that a lady who was pregnant chalked her belly. <laughs> But I've seen people chalk their walls, um, chalk. I have chalked glass, tile, wood, metal, fabric. I can't think of a surface that I haven't chalked. Another uh, cute thing for these transfers would be, uh, I'm pots on some um, terracotta pots or flower pots and then you could um, if they were something you could put in the oven to heat set you could use the ink and heat set it if it wasn't something you could do that with then I would still go ahead um, you could either use the ink or the paste and then use a matte spray sealer to seal it so that it wouldn't go anywhere with the watering of the plants. That could be really fun. I think I might have to do that. That might be a fun project. I'm trying to get my wall filled up though, my gallery wall. So I feel like I can't do anything else until I get that done. Okay, so these are all fuzzed up. I know I wasn't exactly in the camera there. Um, I can't decide, I think I'll put the little squiggly squirrel down first. And I'm probably gonna use this in a couple places. I'm gonna do this in white. So I'm gonna put it right there. And then I'm going to lift it up and use it again. Maybe not all of it. Let's see. It's kind of hard to know. But the great thing is, if I don't like where I've put it, or I don't like having all of it, I can always wash some of it off. Which I may just do. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and put that in my water. And um, so give me some comments here. Tell me what's going on. What was your day today? It's kind of rainy and chilly here, but it still feels like spring, so I don't mind too much. My big adventure for the, for the day was chopping my hair off. kind of fun. I um, have gone back to the hair cutter, hair cutter, the hair stylist that I had when I lived here 22 years ago. <laughs> she's still in her same spot and she's so good that I thought I'm going back to her. See, I didn't like having it be exactly the same. So I just Took a little bit of it off. All right. Now let's put some bees on here. Let's put the big one first. 
And I'm just going to probably do this in all yellow. I think, obviously I can't do black because it wouldn't show, well the black is gonna show through, right, actually? So that's gonna look cute. Let's scrape some yellow. Do that big one there. And I think I might do a big one down here too. You can get away with using the transfer twice if it's a small transfer and you do it quickly. Sometimes I get crumbs on here. Maybe I'll even do it here. Again, if I don't like it, I can wipe it off. So I've actually used this one three times. You just don't want that chalk paste to dry. Yeah, kind of like that. Okay, let's put a couple other little ones in. Mm. Let's do this little guy here. So I don't know what time I actually started doing this transfer, but super quick, right? Super quick to do this project. I know I've been on for about 30 minutes, but most of that first part was showing you the new transfers. Oh, that is too cute. I like it. I'm happy with that. Such a simple, sweet design. Okay. Well, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put it up on my wall, and then I'm going to show you guys. And I'll show you last night's as well. And then, like I said, in just a minute, I am going to go over to my VIP, Carbon Designs VIP, and have a sale. So, it's for customers only. So, if you are a designer, you, oops, it's not for you. And in fact, you probably, you really, my VIP group was actually just for customers. Boy, just not quite tall enough. I'm going to have to get up on my... Okay, I hope you don't watch me fall here. Oh, you're going to end up watching my big behind. Hold on. i got to get this... See if I can get it moved. Mm, nope. Sorry. So sorry, sorry. Let's put it on that view so you're not looking at my nose. Oh, I screwed this on so tight. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to get this so you can see it. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. You may want to come back and just see the... I'll try and put a photo afterwards. Anyhow, here we go. I'm going to try and hang this up over here. I've got to get up on my chair a little bit. Because you do have to put quite a bit of pressure on these when you hang them back up, these command strips. You can hear them pop. Ooh, I don't have very good upper body strength since I had my surgery. Ugh. I think it's on there. Oh, it's a little crooked. There we go. Okay, we're gonna call that good. Gonna call that good. And now I'm going to take you off. Here, let me give you a preview of the sale. I'm gonna sail off of this wall. 
How's that for fun? Okay, now I can show you. Ta-da! Honey Bee Farms. Super cute. Goes with the bee humble and kind. That's an old transfer. Okay, this is what we did last night. And these are all paper flowers on magnets. And so since the beautiful Chuck Couture boards are magnetic, then uh, it works perfect. So here's, here's the uh, gallery wall. I've got one, two, three, four things left to do. All right, yay. Okay, well guys, Thank you so much for watching, and here we go. There, <laughs> see I can write it even if I can't say it anymore. But thank you for watching. Love it if you go to um, the website. Love it if you would share. Oops, I wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> Do all the things on Facebook. And go over to the VIP page. And I'll check that before I go live. And then this is what awaits you. Okay, talk to you soon.